Example 4.2 or 5.2 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. In this example, a frictionless piston cylinder device contains 10 pound mass of steam at 60 PSI A and 320 Fahrenheit. Heat is now transferred to the steam until the temperature reaches 400 Fahrenheit. Assume that the piston is not attached to the shaft and the mass is constant. We need to determine the work done by the system during this process. The definition of boundary work for this process is going to be equal to the integral from phase 1 to phase 2 of the pressure as a function of the volume. Since pressure is constant, we could simply integrate by saying pressure and the change in volume from phase 1 to phase 2. Therefore, this is simply pressure, volume 2, minus volume 1. Since the mass is constant, we could rewrite this equation as simply mass, pressure, specific volume at phase 2, minus the specific volume at phase 1. Then we're going to use the tables for steam in order to be able to determine the value of those specific volumes. Since the fluid inside of the piston cylinder device is steam, we could consider it to be superheated water. We go to table A6E to, in order to get the specific volumes. We go to the temperatures that we have. At the, we have the pressure at 60 PSIA, and then we look for the temperatures we have, which is 320. Therefore, the value that we get is 7.4863 feet cube per pound mass. And for 400 Fahrenheit, we get 8.3548 feet cube per pound mass. Now we take all those values and substitute it into this equation. Boundary work then is equal to the mass, which is given to be 10 pound mass. The pressure is 60 PSI A. And the change in the specific volume is 8.3548 minus 7.4863. Both of them are in feet cubed per pound mass. And the conversion that we're going to use is for 1 BTU, we have 5.404 PSI times feet cubed. We multiply these values, and we found that the boundary work for this case is equal to 96.4 BTU. Notice that the work is positive, therefore the work is done by the system.